Hello everyone, I'm Crumbs. Welcome back to Sirama World of Shipping. We have two ships going. We've got a Panamax container ship and a bulk carrier. And uh, I've learned some things since uh, the last episode. And it is you can change color on these ones. So Panamax container, you can, I don't know, orange. And the bulk carrier... Which color do we want for bulk? I don't know, yellow. So that is a cool thing. <laughs> and then we can also have a look at the ship when it's traveling the seas. So we got a few different views from the bridge and some other angles here. Well, since it's the middle of the night, maybe we should have a look at this some other time during the day instead. But that how it is. So the Panamax container is heading to Vietnam and our bulk carrier here is in the port of Beira and we need to find a contract for you. So where should we go? So we got the flat fleet but we also need to combine that with the distance traveled. So this is half the distance from this one, but it's almost as much money, right? So I think we're going to go to Brazil here. We got two Brazilian, but we can't acquire that one. So let's go with this one. And we see that is actually pretty good. We can slow it down a little bit. And I think I said uh, that this was kilometers an hour. Um, but it's not, of course it's not, so 9 knots, travel time, go. We are in the middle of a storm here, let's get out of that one and then we make sure that the speed is okay. So it's the bulk carrier, right? And yeah, we're good. We have arrived in Vietnam and we also have a food poisoning on that ship. Let's have a look here. So I've also, I, I've asked you guys for names, how to name the ship. And I've got a suggestion from uh, RCFI. RCFI and he named it. You had a suggestion? Galleon 1. I've also got a suggestion on uh, an oil tanker. And we're going to take that one as well. But we don't have an oil tanker yet. So we will try and buy one. And we should look that up very soon. Oh wait. I just saw that we need to do some... Let, let's fuel up. And we do some repairs. It will take two days. And then we will also try and do a couple of upgrades, both for uh, the crew, the facilities, or uh, and, and engine upgrades as well. So let's repair that. You are done. Let's see if we can find you a contract. And I want to go to a port where we can do some nice upgrades. So that is quite far. This is shorter. 2.6. But that one is probably better than since it's almost the same distance, but 2 million more pay. Let's acquire that one. And 9 knots. I think that's okay. Let's start that contract. Should we see if we can purchase... We have no oil tankers available. What does a new tanker cost? Around 50 million. So let's wait a little bit. We are almost there. So let's unpause. We, st we can't do any upgrades there or no there. We're looking for the green thing here with the shipyard. So we'll see if we can send you over there. We are in Brazil. Let's just make 
sure everything looks good we got few crew morale is okay i guess yeah i don't know this is very far so i think i'm i'm thinking of this one let's go We can slow it down a little bit. Let's do that. Eight knots. Go. I guess we're halfway there. Let's just have a quick look and see. So that looks good. And that looks good as well. We have arrived in Algiers. So we got two to Tokyo, but we can only take one. Do we have anyone closer? That's 1.8. It's half the distance, but we got much more pay here. So I, I will go with this one. Let's head to Tokyo, and there we can do upgrades as well, I think. Or maybe it's just... Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Otherwise, we can go to... I know South Korea, we can do upgrades. So, speed, I guess it's fine. Let's start that contract, and we are almost in Seattle. There we go. So, now we can do some upgrades here so here is ship upgrades and there is quite a few we will not do all of them at the same time but we can start then we do this row so engine consumption upgrade hull coating and paints collision avoidance radar durable engine parts and exhaust gas scrubbers that will cost a total of one and a half million and would take 18 days. So let's apply that. And while we are doing that, we could also install some facilities here for the crew to boost the morale. And as we can see, the sauna is a morale boost of eight. Entertainment room, seven. So I think we start with those two. There we go. And now we just have to wait. So unpause while we are installing that. And yeah, no, we can't do any upgrades in Tokyo, but we can go empty to South Korea and do the upgrades there if you want to. Something is happening in Sweden. Can we see what that means? Short delays for the ships due to international work for elections in Sweden. Delayed unloading 50%. All right, we are ready. All the ship upgrades are done. Let's see if we can find someplace nice to go. So that is flour, but this is scrap iron. That is okay. This is much shorter to Port of Nagoya. And I think I. Or we can go to Houston. No, let's go to uh, Nagoya. And I will actually set it a little quicker there. Nine knots. All right. Both ships have, well, they're almost there. Let's uh, have a look here. Do we need, yeah, fuel? I guess it's fine. We don't need to do that. Let's see. Do we find a good contract? I want to go short distance and hopefully do some upgrades, but it doesn't. That is the shortest one to Egypt. But I'm actually thinking, let's just do... 
that we go to Port of Busan for upgrades. So I will add that one. We will go slow like that. And we start. And then we wait for the other ship to arrive. And everything looks very good. Morale is up to 54. Uh, you have no contract. This is the one I'm going to click on. Djibouti, that is... Or we can go... No, let's go to... Uh, let's go to Djibouti. Let, let's do nine. Nine knots, I guess that's fine. So we are in South Korea. Let's do some upgrades here. And we, we're going to do the same as we did on the other ship. Apply. 18 days. And while we do that, we will, should we do this or should we go with different? Gym, entertainer room. There we go. Oh, so they're a little bit different here. Maybe it depends on the people who is working there. Let's start with these two. And then I guess we just have to wait 18 days. While we are waiting, maybe we should have a look and see if there are... Look at that. We have some used ship. We can buy. So a Panamax tanker. Storage, 50,000 tons. Should we go with it? Wait, wait, wait. I knew it was 50. Yeah, I'm thinking let's buy this ship. And we see where we are. Port of Tacoma, Seattle. So. Okay, we can do upgrades right away. First, we need to hire a crew. But I will do that. First, we boost the quality of living a little bit, and then we try and find a good crew. So five years to... Let, let's go with an experience. Sri Lanka, Sampath Gamash. Gamash. Let's go 12 months. We need a chief mate. All male. Work experience. Four, let's go with... Cameroon or Djibouti, but you have two stars there, so I will go with you. Then we have the Chief Engineer. Six years works experience, four years. Peru. Electrotechnical Officer, you've got two years works experience with two stars. We've got a Swedish male. Yeah, I, I, I want to go with my countryman. We're going to go with the Swede. Hire. William Holmberg. And then we've got the chief steward. And let's go with... Yeah, we only have men here. So let's go with... English. Deborah Thomas. There we go. Crew is ready. Let's see if we can find contract. Shipping oil or something. No, this is something. <laughs> I don't want to try and pronounce that one. Uh, but this one is much shorter. Or we can go with two. We can actually go with both of these. They're going to the same. Yeah, let's do that. Acquire that one and... This one. A 
I say that's fine and go. All right, the upgrades are done. Let's find you a contract or two. So we can ship soap to Porto Miami. That is pretty good pay. Or we can go mud. No, we can't. Well, it's much better pay there. It's it's further, I know, but let's go with this one. So we need to speed up. There we go. Ten knots. Nine, I guess. Nine is okay. Morale, 67. Deck equipment, win less. Is damage to deck equipment due to lack of maintenance? We've just been to a shipyard for maintenance for 18 days. But I guess they missed that one. We are in Djibouti. Could refuel a little bit. Morale 54. Yeah, I think we're gonna do a short one here. Let's. We could go there and then do some more upgrades, but no. Let's go to uh, Port of Senegal. Yeah, nine knots is fine. We have arrived in Port of Calo. And I've got a suggestion from Pauper J to rename our oil tanker or a oil tanker to Valdas. And that's what we're gonna do. So thank you for the suggestion. We, uh, everything is good here. I guess we could raise that to the max it's only 35 and then we find you guys a new contract that is six seven thousand miles Porto Cartagena that is a little shorter but we can't go for that one this is longer and no so we're gonna go to Colombia Porta Cartagena, uh, why do you say that? Strong possibility of piracy. Okay, that could be interesting. I guess the speed is okay. And we will hire security. Valdez is in a storm. Our bell carrier have arrived in Senegal. And we can do some more upgrades here. So let's let's go through this. Weather routing system, optimization system, fuel saving propeller attachments, air climate system, air lubrication system, and waste oil incinerator. Apply. That will take 18 days. And let's see if we can do something for the crew as well. Let's install gym and i guess internet and then we just need to wait we have arrived in miami yeah why not let's fuel up Yeah, we can, we can repair the engine if we want to. Let's wait a little bit. Could go to Singapore, 7.5 million. It's quite far distance, but the pay is really good. But that is less than half. So I guess it's, it's better pay, but since we can't acquire that one, this one is pretty good as well. 
But no, we, we're gonna go, we're gonna go big here. Let's head to Singapore. I will actually set it there because it's quite, quite far and we will hire security. Wet damage on Galleon 1, bad weather. Where are we? The upgrades are ready. Let's fuel up. And then we're gonna find you something nice to do. So we can go to Australia. Can we pick up both these? We can. So I think this is a no-brainer, right? Uh, yeah, we can't go with this one. This is a third one to the same spot, but let's acquire both of these. And I guess the speed is good. And we have arrived in Colombia. And we I see that we can actually do upgrades there. So, of course, we will do that. We will do the first row of installs right away. And we will also... Yeah, I don't know. Gym and sauna. Let, let's throw in the internet at the same time. They need to keep in contact with their family, all right? Right, the upgrades are done. Let's find you a contract. Got room for 50,000. So I guess we're. This is almost full. The distance is a little bit shorter. Let's go to Darwin. We haven't been there. Yeah, I guess speed is good. Start contract. Gallium one has arrived in Singapore and we should do a whole bunch of upgrades here as well. Let's do the next row here. Weather routing, fuel saving propeller, Air climate, air lubrication, and waste oil incinerator apply. And we will also... Should we just go, since this is the first chip we had. Let's install everything here. And then we will continue sailing and the bulk carrier is arriving in Australia. So let's find you a new contract as well. Let's fuel up. New Jersey, Peru. We haven't been in Peru, I think. Yeah, we can't go with that one. That is further away. No, let's go. Uh... Yeah, we can only do one. Yeah, we, we're going to go to Peru. Speed is good. Nine knots. Let's start the contract and security, of course. Okay, guys, it's uh, it's time to end here, but it's been a productive episode, I say. We now have three ships, one tanker, one container, and one bulk, and uh, we are making money. So I guess we will continue to haul things and expand our fleet, and we will try and do more and more upgrades to uh, to please the crew we can have a look at the morale here 
So crew morale is 74 out of 128 on on the bulk. Galleon 1, we're doing upgrades there. It's 78 out of 128, so that is really good. And on Valdez, our oil tanker is 61. But we're going to install more things there, so hopefully we can, if not max it out, but getting pretty close anyway. We will continue in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.